cycle delay as possible. Achievement of the research. A QC design for C0 and Toffley gates have been proposed to ensure the irreversibility of the QC, C0 and Toffley gates. We can adjust the QC irreversible gate to create a QCA for double C0 and double Toffley gate. Also, a QCA design for swap circuit is proposed based on the proposed QCA C0 gate. And finally, we design a QCA for reversible circuit based on the proposed QCA Toffley gate. This work has been published in one of the cited journal. And now let's get to know what is quantum dot cell automata basics. As shown in problem statement, a quantum dot cell automata is a nanoscale nano electronic technology and can be used to build a reversible circuit. QCA depends on binary information that is encoded as two free electrons inside a corner of quantum dot cell. Quantum dot cell is a cell unit that has a capability of encoding data by two free electrons and put it on the corner if the two free electron put on the right corner, we represent by polarization positive one, binary logic one, or we can put the two free electron on the left corner to represent binary logic zero, polarization negative one. QCA cells are used to build the wire of the circuit. The cells of the QCA give the power to move the binary data from the inputs to the outputs. This figure represents a buffer where the data is not changing, and the figure down is called the NOT gate, which reverses the inputs because the cells are not aligned together, which causes different polarization between them, and force the electron to settle down on the left corner and give the output zero. This figure is called the fan out figure that make a copy of data. And this figure represents a majority voting gate is the main three inputs QCA gate and consists of five cells of QCA presented as one device cell and one output cell and the three input cell A, B, C. Actually, the majority gate can act as a OR and a, a OR. A, or and gate. The MEV gate can work as an OR gate if in case of assigning one of the MEV gate to positive polarization binary logic one. If the two inputs A and B are zero and one, then the device cell will get by polarization uh, positive one binary logic one due to the Kronbach interaction between the two the three QCA cells will force the two free electrons to become in the right corner, represent the output one. And we can take the majority gate to act as an AND gate by assigning one of the inputs to binary logic zero. If the two other inputs become one and zero, then the device cell will get binary logic zero due to the Kronbach interaction between the three QCA cells will force the two free electrons to become on the left corner and the output will become zero. The NAND gate can be presented using the majority gate followed by the NOT gate. The, this NOT gate will force the two free electrons to become on the left corner due to the columbic interaction. In the right corner, become there is a chromic interaction between this cell and the cell beside it. So the two free electrons become on the left corner and they get the output zero. A QCA wire, there are two types of QCA wire. This figure represents a QCA wire with 90 degree and the other represents the QCA wire with 45 degree. 
the polarization in the 45 degree wire interchanges between the binary logic 0 and 1. QCA clocking is responsible for giving the power to run the QCA circuit and control the data flow between the QCA cells. There are four stages for clocking in QCA, switch phase and hold and release and relax. In a switch phase, the cell has a definite polarity, binary logic one or binary logic zero, affected by its neighbor in the hold phase. While the cell in the hold phase keep its polarity and act as an input to the, to the neighboring cells. In the release phase, the cell can no longer keep its polarity and it turns to the null state. And finally, the relax phase, the cell actually become in the null state. The green color represents the clocking zero, the purple color represents clock one, and the blue color clock two and white color clock three, while the input cell in this color and the output cell in a yellow color. There are a QC design rule. The first single clocking zone with maximum number of cells. The speed is decreased due to long QC wire that cause increased delay. To ensure proper functionality, a long QC wire must divide into separate clocking zones. The, the, the second rule, single clocking zone with minimum number of cells. It is preferred that clocking zone contains at least two cells in a circuit to prevent effect of a single cell clocking zone and ensure good transmission over long QC wire. Finally, Proper clocking zone lead to correct QCA layout. And now let's see QCA design for the reversible circuits. A quantum C0 gate, as shown in equation one, the functionality of C0 gate, where the inputs X and Y and the outputs AB. The QCA design as shown in figure three, where the two inputs X and Y in a blue color and the two outputs A and B in a yellow color. The outputs of A, 0, 1, 1, 0, and, and the outputs of B, 0, 1, 0, 1. Uh, that this figure consists of a group of 11 cells and no clock cycle delay. The functionality of double C0 is to verify the reversibility of C0 gate where the two inputs X and Y and the two outputs A and B. The proposed QCA design consists of two C0 gate connected to each other using QCA wires where the inputs X and Y and the outputs A and B. Here the inputs, here the outputs A take the M take the value of X and output B take the value of Y, but there are two clocking cycling delays Then the correct output become, uh, will start at the clock three, zero, zero, one, one, and output B, zero, one, zero, one. A swap circuit is a combination of three signal gate connected to each other using the wires to perform the, QC, the QCA swap circuit. As shown in figure five, the three C0 gate connected to each other using a QCA wires. The outputs uh, are A and B, and the two inputs are X and Y. A take the value of Y and B take the value of X, but there are two clock cycle delay then the output, the correct output starts from uh, clock cycle three. The QCA design for swap circuit consists of 55 cells. Toffley gate, equation two 
show the functionality of Toffle gate where the inputs X and Y and Z and the outputs A, B, C. The QCA design of the Toffle gate is shown in figure six, consists of 10 clock, 10 cells and with one clock cycle delay. The A, B, C is the correct output starts from clock cycle two. The quantum double Toffle gate consists of two Toffle gate connected to each other using QCA wires. And this design consists of 45 cell. And the correct output starts from clock number six. There are five clock cycle delay. The outputs A take the value of X and B take the value of Y and C take the value of Z. A starts from four zeros and four one and so on, and B starts from two zeros to one, two zeros to one, and C zero one zero one. Based on the Toffle gate, we can design a reversible circuit, which consists of single Toffle gate and five knot gate, as shown in table six. Functionality of the reversible circuits. The QCA design based on a single Toffle gate and five node gate one, two, three, four, five. Five node gate composed with single Toffle gate to implement this reversible circuit. Thank you. I hope I was able to simplify the concept of quantum dot celeron. Uh, thank you, Ahmed, for your uh, for your talk. Um, um, we we can open the the floor for uh, for questions. If uh, anyone uh, has a question, please raise your hand. Um, yes, uh, it's a question from. Uh, okay. From Mustafa Tuni, uh, he wrote uh, he wrote it in the uh, in the form. He is asking about uh, just a second. Let me let me read the question itself. Just a second. Maybe he can ask this so the considering What I'm sorry. If you want. if he prefers, uh, we, we, he can ask his question. Uh, we can open the mic for him. I'm sorry. I cannot hear you. Can you repeat this again? Okay, okay. Uh, I I say uh, maybe Mustafa can ask his uh, question. Oh, okay. Uh, okay over the discussion second. and Mariam, I think has a question as well. So uh, I'll try okay. to unmute. I Mustafa. allow the mic for Mariam and also let me do that for Mustafa. Here is Mustafa. Here he is. So Mustafa, you can mute yourself now. You can unmute yourself now, sorry. Stop at Tony. Uh, we cannot hear you, Mustafa. Perhaps yes. I can read his question. Okay, please read his question. I think he has um, okay. some okay, issues so, with his mic. Okay, he is saying that considering you are still young, would you recommend us projects suitable for undergraduate students? So he is asking uh, Mr. Ahmed about, uh, about uh, you know, Can projects, you for, the projects for the undergrad students. Can you repeat your question? OK, he is asking about uh, recommending uh, some projects for uh, undergrad students, projects about quantum computing in general. We can use uh, quantum distortometer to implement the classical gates uh, and and or gates and uh, use this classical gates to implement um, Sequential circuits or more complex circuit using quantum dot serotonin. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. And uh, regarding Mariam, Mariam, please uh, unmute yourself. Okay, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Uh, thank you, Ahmed, for uh, the proposed approach. It's really nice. So my question is about the experimentation phase. Like uh, how, what you did to, to evaluate the approach? Is there any use cases or, and uh, if you used some metrics to see uh, the accuracy of uh, the approach? Thank you for your question. Uh, we can um, we can use uh, QCA designer tool, uh, which is proposed by QCA uh, designer team. Uh, to implement uh, the work and uh, run the QCA circuits uh, on it. Um, uh, uh, this, uh, this software uh, is available online and uh, you can uh, try to, to implement uh, the QCA circuits on it. And then uh, like if you simulated this QCA circuit or not, Uh, what, what about the metrics, Ahmed? Uh, what uh, what uh, what are the metrics you use to compare your work with uh, with the work of others? What are these metrics? These metrics um, um, is uh, are uh, the 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 cells uh, used in the construction. How many cells used to implement your circuits, and the area occupied by these cells and uh, the clock cycle delay uh, that the correct output will appear on uh, on the on uh, the correct output will appear on the QCA designer tool the, uh, the output may maybe appear with no clock cycle delay and may appear in one clock cycle delay and two and three and so on but it is preferred to implement your circuits with this number of cells and uh, with no clock cycle delay and try to minimize the the area. Okay, thank you, Ahmed. Um, I, I I'm not sure. Uh, did we answer your question, Marim? Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, th there is another question in the chat by Saif Mustafa. He's saying if QCA is a three by three matrix. Is there any improvements or are there any improvements regarding efficiency or clocking? I didn't understand the question, please again. Okay, uh, it's, uh, it is already in the chat, but uh, let me say it one more time. So if QCA is a three by three matrix, are there any improvements regarding efficiency or clocking? The efficiency of the QCA design based on the cells used on the construction. Um, we tried to figure the cells to, to get work with, work with each other and get the correct up. We tried to make the, the clocking uh, in, in, in. We tried to make the cells in a proper clocking to to get the correct up. This is the, 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 the matrix uh, of the QCE, uh, the cells used and the area used in the construction and the clocking uh, to, to, uh, to run the QCE circuits. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, there, is, uh, there is another question. Uh, it says, um, in, in QCA, are particles entangled? Entanglement. Um, uh, no, the cells uh, become in two states, uh, zero or one. No entanglement uh, cell. We cannot say the uh, cells become in zero, uh, in, in zero and one state. I, I can answer this question. Quantum dot serotometer is used in this paper to implement reversible circuits, not quantum circuits. So we don't have superposition. In, in in this uh, in this construction, so it is only reversible, no quantum. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I hope that uh, answered uh, Bilal's question. So, um, is there a, any other questions or are there any other questions from the audience? Okay, uh, I believe there is not. Okay, um, so uh, is there, uh, just a second, sorry. Okay, Mustafa would like to to uh, to ask something. Okay, Mustafa, you can write it. Okay, uh, Mustafa is asking about the motivation of classical cellular uh, or cellular uh, automata and what is quant or what is its quantum implications. The motivation of, cl of classical cellular automata? Yeah. Quantum dot cellular automata take the concept of cellular automata. I mean, um, um, I, I mean that in the uh, quantum uh, quantum automata uh, uh, take uh, the characteristic of cells and uh, the cells are grouped to each other to correct, to get the correct output like cellular automata. Okay, Th thanks for the clarification. Um, regarding uh, safe, saves, uh, saves a uh, question, which is, uh, which is, if QCA uh, is a three by three matrix, is there any improvements or are there any improvements regarding the efficiency or the clocking? So uh, he didn't, he didn't quite understand uh, your answer. So can you, uh, can you, for example, elaborate more on the example itself that you gave? Efficiency of quantum cellular automata based on three metrics: the number of cells used in the construction and the area, and how many majority gate used in the construction. Minimize the cell used in the construction and the majority gate, and the area used to make the easier in implementation. This, this are the metrics uh, of quantum cellular automata. Okay, okay, thank you. I hope that uh, answered Saif's question. So, um, are there any questions from the audience? Any, anything? Perhaps you can unmute yourself or raise your hands. Okay, okay, I believe that's it. So, uh, I think, uh, I think uh, I would like to announce something. Uh, we have officially uh, inaugurated a Q Egypt, and uh, we would like to invite you to subscribe and like the page, and also uh, the YouTube channel for Alexandria Quantum Computing Group. We constantly upload all the talks uh, there, so please go to YouTube or uh, or hit search about Alexandria Quantum Computing or Hepatia Series Talk uh, to watch previous videos. Please do that and do not forget to like you, Egypt. And also stay tuned for more activities that will come very soon. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, right now, I will stop the recording. Just a second. Um, uh, Ahmed, actually, before um, uh, before you stop the recording, uh, I'd uh -huh, like okay, to sure. share a presentation for uh, two or three minutes. Can you repeat your question, Dr. Ahmed? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm asking Karim not to stop recording. Uh, we uh, no, I, I, like I, didn't, to share. I didn't stop recording. Yeah. I did. I'd, I'd like just to share uh, a quick uh, presentation uh, oh, sure. yeah. for uh, for two three minutes. Okay. It is just a quick, um, uh, a quick summary about Alexandria Quantum Computing Group for who, uh, uh, who uh, uh, joined us for the first time. So uh, just to summarize uh, who we are and what we are doing in Alexandria Quantum Computing Group. Uh, and Uh, 
Uh, is it clear now? Can you see yes, my yes, it is, yeah. I can see it. OK, um, uh, just just a quick review about uh, what we are doing in Alexandria Quantum Computing Group and uh, what's our future plans. Uh, if you are interested, please uh, uh, send us an email. Uh, we can uh, uh, reply um, your questions about our activities. So uh, in, 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 in Faculty of Science, Alexandria University, we uh, we have a group, Alexander Quantum Computing Group. Um, this is our website. If you are interested, we have uh, collaborations with many Egyptian universities and uh, other universities. Uh, this is our website. Uh, this is our group. Um, maybe this picture needs an update. Uh, we have more members now, so I will add them uh, uh, very short. Uh, this is our research activities, uh, quantum search algorithms, amplitude amplification techniques, quantum machine learning, uh, quantum and reversible circuits, quantum data encoding, quantum image processing. Actually, we will um, uh, listen to uh, uh, for our next uh, Hepatia series uh, about uh, the last item merging between quantum computing and DNA computing uh, by Merna Hosni. It will be very interesting in two weeks. Um, as we, we organized many um, um, workshops, uh, summer school, winter schools, uh, one day conferences uh, since 2016. Uh, we invited many uh, scientists uh, all over the world in our group to, to give us talks. Uh, this is our Facebook page. Uh, please uh, follow our activities on the Facebook. We have many uh, activities to announce. This is our uh, YouTube, YouTube channel. Uh, this talk today and all other talks uh, will be published over uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, we recently uh, established a center of excellence for quantum computing uh, in Alexander University. Uh, this will allow us to deal with the community and very short uh, we will announce very interesting events, so please uh, follow us to to uh, to share in in these events. Uh, we have uh, many uh, collaborations uh, with many uh, uh, entities, and recently we are very glad, as Karim mentioned, uh, we have now Q Egypt, uh, which is part of Q World. Um, we are also the, the representative of Egypt in World Quantum Day. Uh, uh, so, um, actually, we will announce very interesting e uh, uh, events uh, in, in Q Egypt. So, please follow Q Egypt uh, uh, Facebook page uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you can contribute in this event if you like. Uh, this is our lectures. If you are interested in quantum computing, we have, um, I believe, the only uh, uh, full lectures in Arabic uh, in, quantum, uh, in quantum computing. So uh, uh, you are welcome to, uh, uh, to, to, to listen to these lectures. Uh, today we are in Alexandria Quantum Computing Hepatia series. Uh, we invited many speakers and we still have many to come. Uh, this is our speaker today, Ahmed Mustafa. Uh, and in two weeks we will have a, 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 a very interesting talk uh, about um, uh, how to implement uh, quantum gates uh, on uh, DNA computers. This will be uh, a novel approach, novel uh, subject uh, to listen. Uh, and thank you very much for joining us today. Um, and we hope to see you soon in our next Hepatia uh, talk. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Professor. Thanks. OK, uh, can, can I stop the recording now? Yes, please. Okay, okay, thank you so everyone much and uh, thanks everyone this. for attending today. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah. thanks everyone and thanks a lot for attending today. We are looking forward for uh, for another meeting, I think in, in two weeks from now. And uh, we will post uh, the, the recording very soon uh, on YouTube. So thanks a lot and bye bye.